hi welcome to you all in my youtube channel and today i'm going to discuss about uh, germany registration process uh, as a pharmacist in germany i i already uploaded one video about the pharmacy education in germany so you must watch that video so you can understand that what is the process there i mean the what are the subject they study uh, during those uh, five years and what is the process there and you can compare that uh, um, Indian system of Pakistan whatever your country so you can be I mean the uh, better you can understand that how you can clear this exam so you can prepare well uh, once you know about that uh, and the system in Germany so in Germany most of the pharmacists are females is about 70 percent pharmacists are working in, in in pharmacy especially in retail and hospital they are women and the salary is very very good i can say is about five to six thousand per month in us dollar or uh, or uh, fifty thousand is on an average in yearly the pharmacist can earn in germany and germany you know uh, one of the quality of life very good there and the education for the family members I mean everything is free and uh, uh, health also uh, the free in any of the hospitals you can go and this, this is the one of the most beautiful uh, country this is Berlin this is the capital of Germany and if we go this side is the Netherlands another uh, very good uh, country I will discuss later on this country and then France France also one of the uh, good country then Belgium and this side and here Switzerland and then Austria and Czech Republic and Poland so in these all these countries yeah in between this is a Germany and Germany has lot of the state why I am saying this uh, state because you have to choose in which state you want to work and you have to uh, prepare yourself accordingly so you know so you have to must know what are the state uh, in Germany and where you want to uh, work but this is Berlin is a I mean is like a capital city for for example in, in Delhi so here is the Berlin so you can see in this map and so let's begin uh, Germany I can say you know uh, uh, Germany is very very uh, good country uh, to work as a pharmacist so if you are new in my channel please subscribe this channel and I already upload in more than 150 uh, videos about pharmacists if you want to work in any of the country in the world I already upload especially in this videos you are I'm not going to give you just the pharmacy registration process I will give you the scenario what is the currently scenario there is a job or not and which visa is uh, most suitable for you uh, to that particular country how you can enter in that particular uh, country for example you have to go first for the study then you can convert into, into this or you have to go directly to the work visa many 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 type of the visa in each country so I already upload a lot of videos so please go to the go to on those videos so we can uh, start here so Germany I already told is about 50,000 is a yearly salary so in, in, in Germany as a registration pharmacist generally every pharmacist who want to work in Germany need to be license issued by regional authorities is called approbation approbation they call especially in a particular region particular state you want to work then you have to get a license then you can work as a pharmacist pharmacist with a foreign degree especially like B form and PharmD both are uh, eligible to work there and uh, they are but the here in their system in Germany system I already uploaded in that video if you saw that there is a six month internship is must as a registered pharmacist here yeah, you know so in B form Indian B form uh, uh, internship is not there but if you have some experience in for example if you work as a six month or one year in community pharmacy any of the community pharmacy any medical store or if you work in any hospital so all this uh, experience also you can so but but the experience is not necessary if you have then is a better for you so the the process is very 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 detailed I am going to hear uh, I, I, for this video I just discussed one of the German pharmacists and it, it, it makes me about uh, five hours to make this video so I am not uh, uh, right like very uh, thoroughly I just uh, given the hints and I am talking about this so if you want to uh, 
uh, we work as a pharmacist in germany when want to work as a, i mean if you want to register as a, as a pharmacist in germany then first you have to go for, go for a language skill uh, test i mean you have to show your germany is very well you can be talk and you can write you can understand in german then is a very uh, easy process to as a so this is a crucial stage as a pharmacist because we are a indian or whatever your country we are study in english and germany we don't know so germany uh, you have to study uh, I, i will discuss in my next slide how you can enter in germany you know and you can learn that so just the focus here the what is the process so first you need to be a b2 level language need to learn you have to learn there is some certification a b c so this is b1 b2 b3 you know? so b2 required for as a register as a as a pharmacist this is also is we are medical or dentist also is similar similar kind of this then you have to apply for a equivalency of degree i mean you are equal your degree is equal to a german degree german degree in germany mostly they call diploma a diploma or this is equivalent to a master degree because that is it will take like 5 to 6 year to complete that pharmacy degree in, in germany so there is no mostly in pharmacy a master degree directly they can go for a phd so you have to equivalency uh, you have to apply for equivalency so in equivalency they will verify your uh, your uh, your degree your certificate and that can be uh, attested uh, uh, they, they need i mean some kind of uh, attestation from your ministry of external affair a m e m o e a in india h e c we can be in uh, in pakistan or or uh, whatever the, the authority in your or your particular country then then you can be your registration certificate if you you are registered pharmacist for example in new delhi you are registered pharmacist in up whatever your state you are registered pharmacist there so that letter also you have to attach there then then they will issue a this is called very uh, very uh, uh, very full gain is I'm, i'm sorry i'm not a german uh, uh, i mean i don't know so you have to need a good standing certificate i mean correct certificate you need and you need to be a, a police clearance certificate from india uh, you know this is a true certificate and your degrees and all these you have to be a and police certificate and clearance also health certificate if you are in german if you are already in germany then you, you need to be a, a police clearance from your country and as well from germany as well and health certificate also you need to be have like you you are healthy you can work as a, so any um, general physician they can give a, as a fitness certificate then you have to go for a degree job experience or your cv all these you need to attach this and the fee is about a 300 euro you have to uh, pay then Uh, then you have to go for a six month internship and that the minimum is about 9.3 euro per hour at the moment i mean we can say like a 10 10 euro minimum they will get, they will pay you this is a prepared internship but most of the time the pharmacists are not that much they will pay it about 12 to 15 euro per hour so minimum this much and maximum is up to you and uh, uh, about the employer how much uh, i mean if they are need then they will pay you high if they not need then they pay the 9.3 euro per hour and you can work as a five days normally is working hour if you working in saturday and sunday they will pay you is about 1.5 i mean is is about uh, uh they will pay you like uh, 15 euro per uh, per hour i mean they will pay 50 uh, 50 different extra money and exams then you have to write a exams in f- especially uh after your equivalency then you have to write a exam for you have to pass a exam for a language you know german language especially your the pharmaceutical the terminology in germany you know or not you know if you are fluent in german you can easily you can uh, write this uh, you can pass this exam it's not very uh, dif- uh, difficult if you know this uh, b2 level language then very easily you can pass this and um, then uh, you know basically you have to be see that some of the, the like uh, terminologies we are using like uh, 
uh, Bisindai, like BD, TDS, you know, you know once a day, OD, you know, all these, these are the, some terminology you have to learn in German, you know. Then after that, I mean, first you will in English, then you have to be your equivalency, then again you have to write an English exam, uh, it's, then literally you have to go for a final state exam in which state you want to work then they will take it this is a one hour examination this is a oral examination and it, it is not very very tough it is a very easy exam if you know german because the exam in the german they will ask just simply they, they want to check you are fluent in um, about in germany you can um, you can satisfy you can give a counseling to a, a patient or not and all these things so in this exam there is a pharmacy practice in law in 50 50 percent they will give you the ask the question the, mostly the pharmacy practice questions like some calculation they can ask and how you will give a counseling to the patient some idea pharmacovigilance how you dispense and all these you will discuss and pharmacy law is important you know they will most emphasize on law you must know in which state you want to uh, work you must know about that the system how they work the system mostly if you give 60 to 70 percent answer then definitely you pass and if you fail you can give again it's not like again and again you can you can give then uh, i can recommend here like pharmacology and uh, Lippincourt or uh, Rangendale. I mean, pharmacology they will not ask very very tough. They will just superficially they will ask some some drugs like mechanism or um, or just like ADR or something you know. And law you need to study very thoroughly because you know if you want to work in Germany, someone can be a claim if you have if something happened uh, any uh, medication error or something you know. So you have to more focus on German language then you can pass everything so if you are very very fluent in german definitely this is a very good country to work as a pharmacist in germany so now what are the visas what are the options to you you know if you are in india or pakistan and you are planning to how you can go work there you know there are certain visas i can say here this is one is a student visa a student visa mostly if you are going for master degree there like like uh, public health global health international health something because in germany there is no master degree in pharmacy you know uh, because the after bachelor degree they can directly go for a phd so there are very very limited number of courses and another problem that the courses are not available all are in english because they are preferred in german the so very few university are offering in english so if you are plan planning to study then you can go study visa then onwards you can learn german and then you can equivalency you can go that that is a good option and another op option is a spouse visa. I mean, your husband or your wife are have a visa working right in German, and you are a spouse, especially females or, or uh, on a spouse visa, then there is no need for you. And this visa is called family union visa. is very easy, and you can be pass all these exams. And third visa is a job seeking visa. This is a highly recommended visa if you are planning to work in Germany. This is a highly recommended visa, job seeking visa. I mean, if you are already uh, so in this visa you have to learn Germany in your own country, B2 label in, in your country, then you can apply for this visa. Then you can go for equivalency, then all these process. An equivalency it will take a uh, four to six month time so you have to be be prepared so and another visa they give this is a language visa language visa they give one year if you want to work um, if you want to learn germany but sometimes there may be a problem because you are going to study german i mean the german language not going for this so sometimes they can say uh, but most of the times many students are going in this visa as well so and uh, next visa is a b2 uh, I mean, uh, these are the four visas you can apply. First is a student visa, then is a sports visa if your husband and wife working there, and third is a job seeking visa. So and then the language visa. So I can recommend number one, you have to go for a job seeking visa if you know already in German. If you don't know in German, then you can go for a student visa. A student visa normally they give one and a half year, but mostly the postgraduate one year only. So you can be uh, prepared. Uh, so you have to give more focus on your study in Germany rather than your study 
you know so if you have further any question i for this visa i just discussed one of the pharmacists pakistani pharmacists in in german so all this information are very very authentic uh, and uh, if you have any questions please do ask me and please comment like and subscribe my channel and you can share my uh, videos and already upload more than 150 videos please go through all these videos so whatever country you want to work us uk canada australia most of the videos i are already and many countries um, like uh, uae saudi or uh, maybe uh, um, uh, malaysia M many videos i already upload so thank you for watching this video